is the Arsenal Wolves. All right, three pointers. Myself the tease, man. Oh my gosh, Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. Arsenal win by four games to one. I'm here, my man. Four Mark. games to one. Four games to one, right? Four so goals to one. Four goals. <laughs> we have won four, four games. Goals. Yeah, we've won a lot of games. <laughs> I'm not away. keeping that, you know, that's good. Do staying. you know what? Should I that's keep it? Staying. That's, that's staying. staying. Alright, four four goals to one. Four four goals to one, yeah? Four goals to one. I'm excited. Marty, I'm with Marty. Marty, tell him. What do you think? Great Tom? game, great game. I think first and foremost, the, most, uh, the, the thing that I loved about that game and I love seeing, uh, and when you talk about resilience, character, depth and strength of players, is Martinelli missed a penalty on Thursday night and then today he stepped straight up and scored a goal. And that tells me a lot about character, that tells me about the player he is, that tells me about the team, that tells me, you know, because that's that's a tough situation when you miss a penalty and you go out, you know, a lot of players, that folds them. And it, yeah. it does, they, they, they go under and, you know, it, it, that, that sort of stuff ruins careers. But, he, you know, picked himself up, dusted himself off yeah. and showed what a winner he is and what an absolute world-class, outstanding player. I was, was going to say, he's got bars there, it is like... Would you, come on, do you want to ring out again? World class, outstanding no, player. No, 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 no. Before you was like depth, desire, the, the, depth, desire, the, determination. The, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It, it, it reads, it reads <laughs> itself and it plays itself out because of the yeah. because of how he is, and it's just it, yeah. it's it's seeing that, and that's what I'm seeing at the Emirates this season. Yeah. Um, you know, before the game, obviously. Probably the worst time, in my opinion, the worst time to, to sack your manager just before you come to play Arsenal at the Emirates. Yeah. He, I, I, I mean, Steve Parrish obviously knows what he's doing, but you know they've come here for me at home against uh, Man City. It was a very tight game. They lost on a penalty. They gave away a silly penalty at the end of the game, but they could have they could have drawn that and they could have picked up a point. But they've come here and they they you know there was they, they went close early on. Ramsdale with a, a a great say tip onto the post and then he saved it with his back leg. I thought it was in and then yeah. I saw it go out for a corner. I couldn't believe how it did. And then they threw on goal, which was offside, which again Ramsdale saved and Ramsdale yeah. was really starting to show his class. He's pinged out some passes and balls um, across the Saka, um, you know, which literally to his feet from, you know, you're talking 70, 80 yards, which is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And, and, and what I love seeing with this, uh, you know, with his, his play and his control, um, you know, there were a couple of it, but then as soon as we, the two goals went in, the gates were open and, and, and we dominated. Palace, in all fairness to them, um, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of sides come to the Emirates this season and we've literally just camped out in their penalty area. And we've just been knocking the ball around. It's gone off for goal kick, and then we've got it straight back down into their penalty area. Yeah. And then we're just knocking the ball around, and we're looking for the opening. And in all fairness to Palace, they did. Uh, you know, they they were resilient, and they could have yeah. got something. They just didn't have enough quality in the final third and at the finish to put us to bed. Um, you know, a three-one. It could it could it could have changed. It didn't. But we just we just put teams to bed. We we killed the game off. And, um, and 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 it's finished, and, and another team has come here and and, and got put away, uh, yeah. rightly so. And, and it's you know what I'm looking at is now it's six games. We win the next six, six games. games, we've won the league. Whoa, uh, it's the that's what I'm saying. Won, man. That, that, that's that's next where we're at. Games. But yeah. you know, there's now ten games. You know, we win, win the, we win the next six, six, which includes obviously City and Liverpool. Uh, the next game, which is against Leeds, that's a must win here. West Ham um, away. We got West Ham away. Newcastle that, that, away. Bottom of the table. That's a, that's a win. Newcastle. There's no reason why we shouldn't be beating them, even though they. Are solid at home, but yeah. Liverpool. I think it's for me. It's the City and the Liverpool games. We I, win them. I, Obviously, if we beat City, it's done. It's I, finished. It's I, over. I tell you what, as well, Marty. That is a great response after that. After that, fantastic. Sort of this is this, 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 out of the Europa, it? That's how you want your team what to I'm, respond. What I'm seeing with this team is, is where it's a championship-winning mentality and championship-winning side is the resilience in, and, and they lose and then they bounce back bounce straight away. Back. And this is a comprehensive performance. You know, to beat any team in the Premier League by four goals to one. Uh, you know, at home. Any team, I don't care who it is. There's a level. That's why the Premier League's the best league in the world because of the because because of the quality of teams. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We've got Saka's auntie. Saka's auntie. <laughs> how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? you right? How was his performance today, Saka? It's, it was, it's getting better actually. It's getting it's, better. The last couple bro. of games, it wasn't that great, but he's getting better. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's staying he's at yours today. tonight. Isn't he? You're gonna cook him up some nice food. It's Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's with his, his mum today. No, but no, that's what I'm saying. But you're all staying. They're all staying at yeah, yours yeah, yeah. tonight, we'll innit? Like your sister yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent yeah, yeah. stuff. All right, happy all right. Mother's Day to you. Thank right. you. Take see care. Ya. Here you go. That was like, no, I'm joking. Well, it's only joking, mate. You never joking. know. It could have been. You never know. It could have been. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Mike. <laughs> um, so, so you know, what? Uh, what an absolutely fantastic 
uh, performance from Arsenal Football Club yet again. We yeah. move forward, and as I say, look, when you look at it like that, six games, we win the next six games, we there are Premier go. League champions, that and we ain't it. done that for 19 years. Woo! which is a long time and you know it's time to bring it home it really That's is it. and and, and the weather's it. changing now it's you know it's a, it's a nice mild day to come to the Emirates and, yeah. and as the games go on obviously the leads go it's only going to get better and coming to football on days like this instead of the freezing cold in North London <laughs> is exactly <laughs> what this football's is about and I really can't wait but a great great performance you know um, Granite Xhaka you know solid as ever at the back it's a, it's a shame we are missing William Saliba and we're gonna and I just hope he will cover Recovers quickly in time. In um, time for the uh, Liverpool Arsenal game. Liverpool game. Yeah, <laughs> What's going uh, on it, it was, it was interesting as well when he brought on uh, Jorginho and he yeah. put, I think, what looked at Thomas Party at right back, yeah. which was a really interesting, really interesting call. But um, yeah, it's it's great to see it's great to see us um, to win like this at home. And, yeah. You know, great games of football like this. But it's, it's brilliant for Odegaard. Eh? He goes, he walks around the pitch. I, 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 th I think personally, gets, yeah. Odegaard is the best midfielder definitely this season and currently at the moment Martin Odegaard is the best midfielder in the Premier League without a doubt he makes Kevin De Bruyne you know he's, he's head and shoulders above, above anyone he's, it's, he's, it's not just his, his, his footwork the ball control it's how he moves the ball around and it's what he does off the ball yeah. and it's what he does to the crowd and to the fans and to the team and you can see yeah. he's really coming into his own and uh, what an acquisition he was I mean he came here on loan and then obviously went back and then, then getting him back here and buying what an absolute masterstroke yeah, from the Kelly our tower and Edu who funnily enough I met before the game which was really nice <laughs> alright how's he doing is he doing alright as right? you do yeah <laughs> doing alright you know yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah great you know, great game fantastic fantastic day yeah excellent stuff thank you very much mighty man thank you for joining us on the Free Boys TV there Always you have a it pleasure there you have it Pete's man Arsenal we are cruising on mate I feel like we are cruising alright come on peeps what are you waiting for like Share, subscribe to the free pointers.